My name is The Adipose and this is The Simpsons Tapped Out. In tonight's video we're going to be carrying on our city design series by looking at the Whacking Day Duff Stadium. So let's get building! Greetings guys and today we are looking at the Duff Stadium and as normal in my city design videos we're gonna go and grab some inspiration from some of my buddies on Origin. Here we are in Lego Boy 785's um, version of Springfield. Um, we've got a lovely Duff Stadium combined with the uh, the donut van, some parking uh, some parking meters, a phone box, a gas station. Uh, we've kind of got some generic kind of city decorations in there with that little um, uh, donut van there as well. This is Beast Chris. Love the inclusion of the Duff beer van that was in the yard sale um, a, a few weeks ago. And we've also got the uh, the combination of the Duff Stadium with the Bowlerama. And I really like this idea of kind of putting entertainment buildings um, together. Um, this kind of, It gives it kind of that idea of like an entertainment complex um, in, in the city. And the combination of parking of course works really really nicely with the, the stadium as well. Showrubs one is, uh, it's kind of crazy, but I kind of like it as well. Uh, we've got the Duff Stadium intermixed with a load of kind of TV stuff, Channel 6, which gives this idea of like um, a, a, a baseball game being broadcast to the world. Um, it's also quite near his Duff factory, so we've got loads of Duff party buses and the, the Duff party balloon as well. Um, I'm a little bit suspicious this is just his kind of general storage area, um, but I really like the way the kind of TV um, stuff and the stadium goes together. It gives kind of a an international flavor and of course when, when we're looking at other people's um, Springfields I'm looking for kind of like co decorations that are commonly go with it and, and just kind of what makes what looks good and what makes me think um, nuclear videos HD has got a nice combination um, with the drinks machines that were in the yard sale but also some of the stuff that went with the the uh, the whacking day those little red tents there I think uh, work really really nicely giving it a kind of like a almost like a fairground kind of atmosphere and it's a shame those ones aren't on sale anymore because um, I can't grab myself um I can't really grab myself then. Uh, the inclusion of the uh, hedging gives it a really nice kind of framing uh, to the area that the Duff Stadium is in, and that's definitely something we need to think about how we are going to frame this. Maz Saunders has really gone for this entertainment complex idea. Uh, we've got the Springfield Coliseum and um, the Duff Stadium in the same area, and again we've got things like the, the donut van, the Duff party bus, um, and randomly Frink's Laboratory all in the same area, but it does work as a as a kind of combination, and I really like the way that he's actually got those traffic cones and, and kind of slightly separated off that donut area. It gives that kind of nice feeling that the, the, the police, the authorities have been here and kind of set apart one area from the other. Um, it's a really nice little zone in the city that I think um, you can kind of be proud of and imagine your, your guys going to going to a weekend to watch a game or a, um, enjoy a boxing match. Admiral Avocado again has got this similar idea of stadium and coliseum together. Um, slightly different arrangement of car parking and again we've got those whacking day tents and a load of dustbins. Um, I'm always a big fan of things that make the the town kind of feel real and often it's the inclusion of those little little extras like the bins and the lampposts and the uh, the traffic cones that give it that kind of a little extra touch it's a lived in town so that's something that we'll definitely be trying to to look for in um, our own design or indeed in in your design as well um this is uh glide airs uh, he's got this racing car now i've got to confess i don't know where this racing car comes from i don't think it's available anymore um, maybe you guys can tell me but one thing i did really like about his design well, i think i like the racing car actually i think it works really nicely um, but the way he's fenced it off um, in the same way that nuclear videos um, had hedged it off um, they, I think the fencing um, gives it kind of separates it from the rest of the city in quite a nice way and, and stops it just being um, a stadium and a car park kind of tagged together um, that little bit of separation work, working working nicely in synergy with the walls of the Duff Stadium too so what am I going to do with my design? Well, my Springfield's got a bit of a problem at the moment, I've got to confess. I'm completely running out of space, so we're going to have to go for a pretty compacted design for now until we um, can expand out a little bit later. Um, I had a couple of drinks machines from the yard sale, which I've combined with my, my Duff bus. Um, got a bit of car parking in there, but they tried to give it a bit more kind of a lived-in feel by adding in some uh, lampposts, a phone booth, um, some parking meters, and one of those uh, no-entry signs. Um, I put roads around the edge, because that's I think that's really important to make it not just look like it's something plonked in the middle of nowhere. And because I'm out of room, I didn't actually at the moment have room to put in my Duff Beer Barney. Um, but as soon as I have forward the space, I will definitely be adding that in there as well. 
Um, the police station and the church will be coming up next, so if you've got a particularly good version of that, then please do let me know, and I might, might feature your city. Um, thanks very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this little look at the Duff Stadium, then do give the video a like, and please subscribe if you want to see more tutorials, guides, and whatevers from the Adipose. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.